for I think uh, like today it allowed us to switch a lot and uh, I think uh, Seth he does a really good job of being able to guard bigger guys because he's so low to the ground and got strong legs so it kind of gives us more flexibility defensively and on the offensive end I think it helps us push the ball a little faster. It looked like you were pretty comfortable uh, defending Starling in space too. You had those two blocks in this drive. What did you see? Yeah, well, I mean, I thought at the beginning of the year, I really haven't done as good a job as I wanted to just on the ball when I get out there. But, I mean, I think the last few games I've been doing better and just getting better and better just on the ball. That's something that Coach wants to do, and that's something that I think is pretty fun. So just being able to go out there and do that. And start with a pretty good player, quick guard. I think I did a good job just anticipating the shots and blocking. What do you feel like you're doing better in terms of handling double teams than you were earlier in the season? Just being more patient. I thought earlier in the season, instead of making an easy pass to the person in front of me, I was trying to make the skip pass and the home run play and get the assist. But Coach, he's really done a good job. Coach May of just telling me to just make the simple pass and allow and then to make that great pass. I think that's really been helping us. Well, you made a couple of good skip passes today. I mean, that first one to Caleb in the corner. Yeah, but I mean, it was wide open. I wasn't really forcing. I thought early on the season, I was kind of getting uh, forced on kind of like just falling back, trying to throw deep passes, and it was just kind of tough. So I thought today I did a good job of seeing the wide open one was a skip pass, but also just making a simple pass. And how different is it going to be against Virginia, knowing usually that big, it's a second big coming to double as opposed to a guard coming down. How different is that? Yeah, I mean, I never know with Virginia. Uh, Tony Bennett obviously is a smart coach, and he's had a year to kind of scout us and see what we do. So it'll be interesting to see the different looks that they throw at us. And I mean, they're big man. They've all improved a lot. They got good size to follow. He's huge. Um, Oh, what's the Cedric. Cedric, yeah, he's gotten a lot better, athletic, stronger. So it'll definitely be a challenge. And I mean, they're an experienced team just like us, and we beat them twice last year. So they're definitely going to come fired up, and we got to come fired up and ready to play, too. You think because of the, you handled the doubles well, that's why they brought Cam Newton just kind of around some body? Yeah, I mean, I think they're just were trying to throw a bunch of different bodies at me. I mean, I think. Uh, and appearing in the second half, uh, Zona and Campbell, they did a good job of kind of wearing me out. They were big physical guys, and I was kind of tired, so they did a good job. It looked like I the guess. attempt by Campbell was to foul you before you got the ball, yeah. before you got the shot. A lot of people were not sure you fouled. What was the physicality like that? Was that was yeah, I mean, he a big guy. I really didn't think I really had a problem, but I mean, I think he did a good job of just when he came in, just disrupting the game. I mean, he got Caleb a technical foul, and he got a layup, rebound, and he was physical. I think he did his part really well. Oh, my dude, I was about the double team. I was saying to Caleb, it, it, like, see, I was saying, it's not like you're not, like, sort of getting caught in those mm -hmm. anymore. And he was talking about, like, before the games, you guys trying to talk about where they might be coming from, yeah. the double teams. Is that like a helpful thing that you try to pay attention to? Or like, do you try to scout where the double team might be? Yeah. How it might affect you? Yeah, 100% before the game, uh, two days, three days before, I watch a lot of film on who we playing and kind of just see their tendencies and how they guard other bigs that play like me. So I knew coming into this game, they'd be coming from the baseline and I kind of knew the rotations off the ball. So I think that really allowed me to be able to kind of assess how they went about that and kind of allowed me to know what I need to do.